Is that it? That was the whole boss. Okay, choose a new mission. Uh, let's play number what? Number five. I, I still don't understand why number five spoke in like a. Uh, yeah. Like a second person. Like a I mean third. Oh third shit! Oh person. shit! Oh shit! It's, it's those little pirates, guys. Oh god. And it's and it's um. What's his name? Oh wow! You take fall damage. Yeah, and she can actually walk faster. Thank God. Oh God, no! Help me. You can jump. Okay. No, I don't think so. Oh, okay. Once you yes, you can. Once, press up. Hang on. Once you go press. up, you can go back down until you reach the end of the stairs. Okay. Yeah. The jump is very bad in this. Hang on. Yeah, I know, but it's better than nothing. It's weird that these these guys just teleport everywhere. These main bosses were just you know standing there, not really doing anything. He's just standing there. Menacingly! Leave me alone. Can't. What's his name? Oh, Sticky Beard, the pirate. I remember that episode aired he's, on Halloween. He's ah! voiced by Mark Hamill. Yeah, everything's voiced by Mark Hamill. Um, yeah, I remember I um, was listening to some uh, Fur Affinity ASMR. What the fuck? And it was voiced by Mark Hamill. What the fuck? True story. Go look it up. Yeah, well, let's check out one number five's idle animation. Oh, look how cool she is. Her arm becomes a, a darker shade of tone than the rest of her body. Oh, a darker fuck. shade. A darker shade of tone. Shut up. Shut up. A darker shade of tone. Shut up. I'm not racist. Put, that, put, put text. No, put that on text on screen. I, okay, I'll do that after. If I feel lazy enough and it looks like my health is going to zero already. Oh, fuck. These, these pirates are going to kill me. Oh god, please, no. Ah, go up the stairs. Okay, there. Please. She walks with such determination. It's like, she is ready. She's... I'm gonna beat you, sticky beard, and get all my candy back. Number five's gonna fuck you up. Number five about to punch a nigga. Whoa, whoa, there. <laughs> uh, the views of, the views and commentaries on these, pod, on these uh, let's plays are collect all three lampshades reassembled. Fuck, there was a lampshade back there. I'm too lazy to go back there. Get the sword. I'll get it. The views and opinions <laughs> expressed on here are, belong to those individuals and not me. Oh, shut the fuck I'm up. I'm not responsible for what you say. Yeah, you're not. Um, and I think everybody fucking knows oh, that. Oh, game over. Oh, look, she did. She, she at least did, did a devil horn thing before she died. <laughs> uh, fine, we'll play number Juan. They should have made them. They should have made number one Mexican and called them number Juan. Um, I feel like they already have enough issues with racism in this show. <laughs> there ain't enough. There are never enough. Oh shit! It's that chick. Oh god, get away! What chick? The the girlfriend. Oh, Lizzie. Lizzie, yeah. Which when I first saw Lizzie, I thought she was one of the members of the um the delightful children because one of the kids looks like her. Yeah, no, I know. I thought it was um, gonna be a twist in the series. Oh, this fucking dildo cap is covering this lever and I can't press it. Shit. I know. I just keep walking back and forth with number. Look how stupid his fucking walk cycle is. <laughs> he looks like Mighty Number no. Nine. It's so tweened. It's terrible. It's, look, this was the early 2000s. Let's see his idle animations. But this was the early 2000s. This is all they had, you know. Oh, look, he's doing like a come Ooh. get some. <laughs> come get some. Yeah. Adult. Yeah, I'm number one. Don't like I'm fucking a child, but I'll beat your ass. But he bounces up the fucking staircase. Oh, jump, yeah. He, you could say he's, um, number Juan, the jumping bean. What? Like a Mexican jumping bean. Oh. Get it? Because it's racist. Eh. Oh, fuck. Oh, there was a fucking staircase. I could barely even see that. Oh, look, she's crying. That chick is crying. What a fucking loser. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, God, don't kill me, please. Oh, God. Look at how he climbs upstairs like an idiot. Damn, I fucking... Flip all over this hellhole. Okay, where's damn it? This, this, this architecture is really confusing. Where do I go? Ugh. It's all sticks and rope. This place is a fucking mess. These kids are not interior designers at all. Fun shui. Lizzie, no, fuck off, bitch. Oh wait, the door. I gotta get the door. No, just get the shower thing. Oh fuck, ow. How do I enter? Yes. Oh, it's another fucking close. This is so bullshit. No, Lizzie, leave me alone. You need, I think you need to get like a, a thing that breaks those open, yeah. if I remember. Into the, oh, it's a teleporter. Okay, that's what this shower thing is. That was never in the show. They don't have teleporter. Number one, number one fight. Um, no. 
Uh, wow. This is bullshit. I had that like uh, the spanky thing that I'm carrying around. I, I sh this should work. Surely there has to be something of value over here. What is wrong with this lady? Leave me alone. Is that like? Is that a fucking shower? Oh, in case of okay, now I can open the the glass things. There. Okay, now I gotta open all five of them. I think. Number one's trying to redirect the satellites so he can get free porn. Oh yeah. Haha, uh -huh, funny, funny low-hanging joke. The day, the time before internet, and what's this tube over here? Let me uh. Oh god, he got vaporized. Oh yeah. Um, one of my favorite things about um the Galactic Kids Next Door pitch is that um the plot twist that Lizzie was actually a Kids Next Door member the whole time. What? Yeah, no, she's a Galactic Kids Next Door member. She's an alien. What? Do you not remember this? No, not really. I don't remember that po aspect of it. I there was, um, after the first video leaked where number one was, like, uh, about to, like, uh, um, vaporize Earth or something with an anti-adult beam, mm -hmm. like, they had to make a new storyboard animation, and, uh, they had, um, number three and number four talking to, uh, um, one of the kids next, um, one of the Galactic Kids Next Door operatives, and one of them was Lizzie, mm -hmm. like in disguise. But if anyone who does, who's listening to this doesn't remember, there was a pitch for a new Kids Next Door continuation series called the Galactic Kids Next Ah Fuck, the Galactic Kids Next Door, where it was them older and things got serious and stuff, and nothing ever came from it, sadly. I I just I don't understand Cartoon Network so reboot happy, and Kids Next Door was like one of their most popular properties. Yeah. I mean, I think it's like, a little... Maybe it's just a little early for them. No, wait, that's not... I don't even know. Like that, if it, Ben 10 is getting a reboot, and he's only 10 years old. <laughs> is the whole... Is the series 10 years old? Yeah, 12, it's 10 or 12 years old, and Kids Next Door came out in what? 2000... Kids Next Door ended in 2006. Yeah, it's like, come on. If anything that deserves a reboot, it should be this. It had a whole universe and everything. Like, a whole... It would work for an extended universe sort of thing where we can see episodes about I, other candy members yes i mean ben 10 also was ripe for that ripe for the picking for that but cartoon network mishandled that property so badly yeah what's crazy is uh ben 10 it isn't really successful in america it's more successful in other countries yeah like especially the middle east yeah they seem to like it for some reason i i don't know why <laughs> like, i don't know i guess the idea of turning into monsters is pretty cool I'm, I, I, there's an opportunity for a joke, but I'm going to bail out. Oh, that was not intentional, you asshole. The views and opinions expressed by the people on this Let's Play are th of those of the mm -hmm. stater or whatever. Fuck off. Nolan, do you want to get kicked off ukulele again, you asshole? Listen, just... I just said that um, rich black people are more inclined to <laughs> commit crimes than white hey, people. Let's enter the teleporter. Where do I go? Fuck. Crap. Tele teleport into a better game. <laughs> well, you know, there's all, you know that, that was an a that was an AVGN tier joke. Damn. God, this fucking game, this fucking game, number one, more like number taking a one. <sighs> Crap, where did I have? To, oh wait, I think it was the center area. Shit, I think that would make more sense to go to the center area, the 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 main area that I started from. Right. Look, there's a teleporter. It's time for me to teleport to a better game. You know, in real life, I would never trust a teleporter because, uh, you, for all we know, you could be getting vaporized when you teleport, but it, like, kills you and then it reforms you in a different place, but you are dead and it basically created a clone out of you, you know? Well, even when you're, um, even when you're teleporting, like, you're not teleporting into nothing. Like, air is still a thing. So, like, you're just, you're... You, Either you're displacing air or air gets oh. inside of you. Okay, what do I do? Oh, oh, it's like, oh, fuck, okay, I gotta press the button at the right time. This is, uh, just gotta deflect these shots, yeah. This is engaging gameplay. Yeah, look at that fucking flag in the background is backwards. They couldn't even fix that. Oh, no, Lizzie, no, get away! Jump! Bitch! No! Oh, God, oh, God, no, please. No, okay. I didn't know if I was supposed to jump or just whack her in the face. You should have whacked her. Yeah. Take that, bitch. Oh, God. Okay, one last... Domestic... Gonna... No! Fuck! We were both one hit away from defeat. Shit, I lost. Oh, well. Who's the last one? Number three. Well, at least we can beat her, because she's easy like Sunday morning. Oh, fuck, it's liver. Fuck the liver and onion monsters from, uh... 
Grandma Stuffum. Do you remember the Grandma Stuffum episode? Um, there were actually, there were several, but I remember the fucking opera one yeah. the most. Yeah, the opera one now with music done by um the um this metal band called Guar of all people, surprisingly. That that was I, I I'm still floored by it. Like yeah, like they apparently um Tom Warburton has a blog called Warburton Labs. And he t he talks about the development of candy on it a lot, mm -hmm. and like general other candy stuff. Like he posted fan art of the candy members as like One Piece members. Oh yeah. Ah oh, fuck. So oh, get away. Oh. <laughs> this flower distracts me, and I had to take a hit from these onions. So um, but yeah, um, he remember um, I remember him talking about how he uh had he like like Gray Delisle shot her voice in recording that episode. Like, she, I don't think she could speak for a while. Uh-oh. From singing so, opera? So, Tom Warp... Huh? From singing opera as the character? Oh, yeah. Like, that would fucking do it. Yeah, I Especially would if you're not trained in opera. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Also, could... just fucking in general, that idea... The idea of that episode sounds so fucking stupid. Like, we're gonna have this fat old lady, like, sing opera while she gets a giant sandwich to bore kids. Oh, yeah. But... <laughs> It, it fucking it was awesome yeah of all people guar i mean kind of reminds me how in this the spider-man 2 the video game the movie game uh kmfdm this industrial metal band that a lot of people credit as like one of those bands that inspired columbine uh were, were did the music for spider-man 2 the movie game really yeah that game does not sound metal at all. The, the background, think... the background has sort of an industrial sound to it. Oh God! Okay, I gotta remember the this. Uh, I, I think I gotta remember this thing here. But hang on, let me check out her idle animation. What, what does she do? Do it, you whore! I love how she has her arms like curled up like a T Rex. Uh, yay! Yeah, that was that was that was a waste of time. Okay. Oh my gosh, she's so kawaii. Oh my gosh. Crap. Do you think do you think number three likes anime because she's Japanese? Oh that, surprisingly that was never brought up in the show, I don't think. Um, actually one of the episodes like parodied Full Metal Alchemist and they actually the predicted fuck? how they actually predicted how the, the the manga was going to end like before it even came out. What the fuck? <laughs> I think it was Operation Carmel or something. This I don't know. The show was weird. Kids I mean, Next Door was fucking there were, awesome, there was just so, Yeah, now that you bring this up, like, the whole Guar thing, opera, the f predicting Full Metal Alchemist, like, and there was that time where they did a parody on the Animatrix, of all things. Like, everybody, yeah, like, everyone was doing, like, the parodies on the Matrix, but they did an Animatrix parody, something, like, ten people would get. I mean, it just kind of goes to show, like, if, if you're... Like if you you're passionate and you wear your like inspirations on your sleeve, yeah. Like it, it it's it's just very charming. Like, and I don't necessarily mean that like you need to parody like everything and like say like oh look at this like self awareness parody like uh, some people do, mm -hmm. but just like uh Quentin Tarantino. just like be huh Quentin Tarantino, yeah basically yeah, like, yeah. just just love what you do and love like loving the stuff that you make you know? i'm kind of curious about like the whole full metal alchemist thing have you finished full metal alchemist not really i never it? i was never into it really it's so good Although i feel like it would make a good live action movie uh, which aren't they doing one they are doing one in, in japan, japan in japan <sighs> and they're recasting european people as japanese people this movie is racist <laughs> that's ironic as hell <laughs> Oh yeah, it doesn't yeah. it doesn't it does it does take place in uh, Europe. It it's a it's a fantasy Europe called a Mestris, but yeah, it is Europe. <laughs> there are Asian characters, but they come from a place called Zing or Zing. 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 Oh, that reminds me. I came up with this pun yesterday. Um, you know the movie Kubo and the Two Strings? I would have called yeah. it uh, Kubo and the Two Swings. I would have called it Kubo and the Two Dead Parents. Oh. I'm lost. Where do I go? This game is fucking confusing, dude. Fuck, I'm tired. This is why I didn't. I was hesitant on playing this because I remember it was a lot of walking around. It's it's like a Metroidvania, man. Oh yeah, it's Metroidvania. Only shit. Do I press this? Oh, I had to press the space bar here. Of course. If all else fails, just press the space bar. All right. Surely we should be near the end of wherever I'm going. Oh yeah. Get the fuck out of my way, bitch. I'm still surprised that they had like a walking liver. And like that, that was okay. It's a cow liver, so it's fine. 
Hang on, do I have to go to this warning sign over here? To open this door, connect all the... Ah, uh, fuck. Okay, walk all the way up there. You oh, be. fuck. Alright, uh, I gotta... F oh, it does that automatically. I don't have to figure it out on my own. Thanks, okay. I was gonna say, they have the pattern. They had the pattern in another yeah, shed. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I noticed... That would have been that would have been fun, kind of fun, I guess, but... They, I they were like, hey, here's this thing that you're not gonna need at all. And Okay, oh god. Fuck. Oh god, no, don't kill me. No. Okay. I gotta aim and shoot. Hey, fuck, that thing is going a million miles per hour. Holy crap. Fuck her up. Fuck oh, her god, up. Oh god, no. How do I defend myself? It's like, I just gotta, like, press the space bar as fast as possible. She's not dying. Oh wait. Oh god, I gotta shoot her in the fucking face. No! You're busted. Shit. Came over. Okay, kids, here's the lesson for today. If nothing else, if all else fails, just shoot him in the fucking face. Oh, this is bullshit. Well, we saw all the levels in this game, and we only beat one of the bosses, so I think that was a good run. I'm Pan Pizza. Who are you, people? I'm one person, and I'm no one. Yay. Goodbye, every pony. See y'all later. Masturbator. No. Ah!